Right, that one has moved slightly. Hey, here we go. Welcome back to my garage and to video number five in the MGTF 135 head gasket replacement series. This of course is the head gasket project that has spiraled out of all control and has ended up in pretty much a full refurbishment with the subframe and engine and gearbox out of the car completely. You'll probably remember that um, the last thing I did was put the engine onto the engine stand and bring it into my garage. So the next job is to strip the engine down so I can fit these shims. The idea of these is that they raise the liners uh, three thousandths of an inch above the top of the block and then that will allow the MLS gasket to seal properly. So if I can't get the liners to sit that uh, critical three thousandths of an inch above the top of the block then I will have to use the Elastoma head gasket um, what I do not want to do is do all this work, take it all apart, spend all this money, uh, clean it all up, etc, etc, do, do everything, uh, put it back in the car and in three months time I've got another blown head gasket because that wouldn't be funny. So um, the choice of head gasket is going to be 100% dictated by what these do. So um, I just need to get on and uh, strip the engine down now I think. And. Uh, by the way, got new shell bearings, no sense in putting the old ones back. Right, that's looking a lot better than it was. So, um, now I'm going to strip off the rest of the engine mount, take off the oil pump, and have down here we have the oil filter and the sensors assembly to come off as well. There's one more bolt down the bottom there. That's why it's always good never to force anything. Let's take that one out. Might come off quite easy now. Well, that makes a difference.
There's an awful lot of oil on these, so hopefully this is where the leak is coming from. Right, I think I'll give the tops of the pistons a clean next and then I'll be able to flip the engine over, take the sump off and uh, take the liners and pistons out. That will obviously get a good final clean before the head gets put on but I figured might as well get as much of the muck off as I can at the moment whilst I'm still dismantling so that any muck that falls inside the engine will will get removed. Um, this way when it all goes back together hopefully it will go back together very very clean no muck no grit no nothing in it don't want anything to affect the running of the engine and shorten its life once it's all back together. Here I have my trusty workshop manual, just going to check the um, order for removing those bolts from the sump. Actually it doesn't appear to be a specific order, um, hopefully this will be clear. Um, I've got the alloy sump and it just says progressively slacken then remove 14 bolts. So um, I shall progressively remove those bolts. That didn't take much. And one sump. Well, funny enough, just like Swampy's uh, VVC engine, um, taking the sump off, and it doesn't really look as though there's any sealant around it. So, um, I don't know, maybe it's just a feature of these engines that over time the sealant somehow disappears. Um, seems to be a bit of a coincidence that two engines uh, both had exactly the same thing, but um, yeah, don't know. No real, no real explanation on that, but certainly when it goes back on it's going to seal. Hopefully this is another reason why there was so much oil around it. Um, but anyway, I think that's, that's it for the day, and uh, well, good evening, made a lot of progress, and it's now time to clean up and uh, go and put my feet up and stick the teddy on. Okay, so um, I'll be back tomorrow. Hi, Friday afternoon and work is finished for the week. Uh, the first job is to take out the oil pickup. Two 10 millimeter nuts hold the oil rail on. So uh, that's the next job, take those off. Okay, finally got there. Um, two bolts per con rod and in theory, the pistons and the liners should pretty much slide out.
It's important that everything goes back in the right place, so I'm going to keep everything together, cable tied with different colours, so that um, I know which is which for uh, when I reassemble. Right, don't think they're just going to fall out, so I'm just going to turn the camera off for a little while, do a little bit of reading, research, a bit of uh, googling maybe, and uh, see if I'm missing something. So, uh, be back soon. Right, it's next day, Saturday morning, and um, before I finish off for the night, I filled the top of the engine with duck oil, uh, got it everywhere, sprayed it in, and I thought I'd just leave it a soaking overnight and see if that makes any difference. Um, come out this morning and given one of the liners a gentle tap from underneath, turn the engine the other way up and uh, it's moved so I'm just hoping that the other four, other four, <laughs> uh, just hoping that the other three will move as well. So um, here goes. Here we are, first one out. Now, need to make sure these go back in the same way that they came out, so I'm gonna do the same trick and stick color cable ties on them. Let's go on to number two for the moment, see if I can remove that one and um, then come back to number three. Right, that one has moved slightly. Getting there, three down, one to go. Oh. Uh, so actually once I got that last one to start moving, it came out incredibly easily. It um, obviously just needed that initial knock. Um, 
I think the duck oil has done the job. So uh, yeah, well chuffed. So, right, well chuffed with that. So that's all four of them out. And um, next thing I need to do, just uh, have a really good clean up. Everything is dirty, greasy, everything's covered in duck oil that's gone everywhere. Um, I need to have a look at the liners and make sure I hadn't done any damage taking them out the way I did because obviously it's a bit, little bit more of a violent way to remove them than um, they're designed for and um, I think that is it now I think we're at the stage now where it's now cleaning checking new components rebuilding and um, yeah I think we've kind of reached that cusp now where we start seeing progress rather than pulling everything apart and making a mess i can start putting things back together so um i'm just going to turn the camera off for a while have a good clean absolutely everywhere and uh, be back later